Hello and welcome to XM.com. This is today's daily market comment by Raf Boyajian. I'm Christina Marujos. Signs that consumer demand in the United States is being pressured from the increase in the cost of living and that supply shortages are getting worse were laid bare in the latest PMI report on Tuesday. The S&P Global's flash services PMI fell more than expected in May, raising fresh concerns about the U.S. economy. The less than robust figures raise speculation that the Federal Reserve may not have to hike rates as aggressively as previously thought. The minutes of the Fed's May policy meeting due later today will likely reinforce the view that additional 50 basis point rate hikes will be needed in the next two meetings, but the rate path after that becomes a lot more foggier. In the meantime, however, the growing doubts about the strength of the U.S. economy have dented expectations about year-end rate hikes. Treasury yields have also been subsequently declining, with the 10-year yield dropping to a one-month low yesterday. The U.S. dollar brushed a similar low against a basket of currencies, but has bounced back on Wednesday. In equity markets, stocks were mixed in Asia, but European shares and Wall Street futures were mostly higher. But overall, the mood remains fragile amid the growth scares in all the major economies. The weakening outlook has already prompted one Wall Street firm to issue a profit warning, and there could soon be a flurry of them. The Nasdaq Composite plunged by 2.4% on Tuesday as tech firms that rely on digital advertising for their main revenue source came under pressure after Snapchat's owner's profit warning. Nasdaq futures were marginally higher at the start of European trading, though S&P futures were losing ground. It was a similarly mixed picture in the currency markets as the dollar's revival paired earlier gains for the pound and kiwi. The New Zealand dollar surged after the Reserve Bank of New Zealand went ahead with the expected 50 basis point rate hike, but indicated that it may have to get even more aggressive in its fight against inflation. But the worst performing currency is the euro, which has slipped back below the $107 level. As the European Central Bank's public debate on policy normalization rumbles on, the hawks have been actively trying to build momentum for a 50 basis point rate hike in July. But there seems to be some pushback. President Lagarde has hinted that she sees rates slightly above zero by September. But Governing Council member Fabio Panetta today warned against normalization tantrum. This was the Daily Market Comment. Thank you for watching at XM.com.